Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Pamela, and in fact, we're back in the Cryo Clinic. Now, the reason we're back here is because we're now in version 01023. And since the last patch introduced a possible bug in the world gen file, this patch actually necessitated wiping all of the saves. So, we basically started with a clean slate, but in getting back here, I've picked up a lot of a lot of supplies, some gear, right? Shield, flashlight modification gadget, and oddly enough, we've actually retained our Pamela points. Now, we've lost the money, we've lost the experience that we otherwise would have had, but that's fine. And check out this sweet flashlight. It's now much brighter and much larger. The reason I came back here is I had thought about playing all the way back to the Arcadia 7th floor area and just starting up from there as if nothing changed, but I realized we never fully explored the second floor because we got chased off by Seekers because back when we were here last time like every lock was Torment or Infernal level and we were just constantly getting harassed by Seekers who were trying to arrest us or just beat us down. So never really got to look at the second floor. Whoop. We've got one of those observers. Actually now that I mention it, or now that I think about it, we didn't check the one thing I actually wanted to check on this on this switch which is this. Main power switch located on main floor. So let's go find that. That's our that's our task for today, or at least our first task. And our second task, actually, is to find a weapon and maybe some other gear, like some armor. And if we do that, then we'll go back to Arcadia Tower and we'll probably go straight to the seventh floor in that case. If we don't find everything we need, we may, we may go back to Arcadia Tower and instead of going to the seventh floor, we may stop by Garrison. Because, you know, like I said, it's a new world, new gen file, essentially. And maybe, maybe, maybe there will be something there for us to get. Okay, let's just quickly look around. The observer isn't here. Good. Let's go and hack this box. One, two, three, four. Now, I know if you fail a hack, they come at you. I wonder if, I mean, I'm assuming if they find you mid-hack, that's also not a good idea. Impact Catalyst. All right, so this is already up there with what we need, sort of, kind of. Let's put a you uh, a hypo here. And where does this go? This goes to power. And what does this do? Converts 10% player damage into energy. Doubles conversion rate if health is below 50%. So I guess if we start doing damage, we'll start regaining power, which is awesome. Where are we for various needs? We can use a little bit of power, actually. And maybe we can use a little kale. Um, and we can do without any more water. So, what else do we need? We need this, and then the augment coupon shatterproof. Right, they changed in the latest patch. Oh, I guess that's automatically added to our inventory. Cool. So they added, uh, as of the latest patch, they fixed the augment vending machines, which we saw at the end last time. Those, like, yellow ones in Genesis. Okay, cool. Let's close this up. It's so much more... It's Well, it's so much less oppressive here with the lights on. <laughs> Beside my mainframe, there is another. The deep frame. Its cold texture doesn't permit even my slightest curiosity. Now, the reason I'm re-triggering the Pamela Echoes we already heard is because, well, we've lost them all, and I'd like to collect them to the extent we can. Uh, it doesn't really affect anything, but in in terms of, like, towards the end, if we want to do a review of the story, it'd be nice. A review meaning, like, to run down the story or run down maybe, like, what context the Pamela Echo is in, like, what entries were around it. It would be nice to have them. So if we see them, I'm going to grab them, even if we've heard them before. That's, I think going to be our sort of operating mentality. We've also lost the, the text, so we've read David's aut Autopsy, page one. I'm not going to do that with you guys again, because that's just a waste of your time. But it's good to have it, again, in case we need to reference it at some point later on. Okay, so we picked up that utility piece. Is there something in here, maybe? Maybe there's some uh, seeds, nobody cares. I don't think this has buildables fixed yet. Now, there is another patch coming tomorrow, which has more save functionality fixes, whatever that may mean. 
and that one may actually change buildables. And if it happens next time, great. If it doesn't, then that's okay. But whenever they fix buildables, we are definitely making a base. And I will guarantee you that we're going to do that. Because I really want to explore that. I want to explore the idea of having a somewhat more persistent area where we can return, we can sort of find some sort of shelter, we can find food, we can find water, we can find a place to rest in order to recharge our batteries. That's going to be important for us. Okay, so... Let's actually take a look at this. This probably just has... Well, nothing in it. I was going to say it probably just has a power core, or power cell, rather. Uh, which... Useful, but not that useful. Okay, we're on the first floor. Let's take this up to the second floor. Explore up there, and we will... Hopefully, be able to go back to Arcadia within this episode. Uh, still has the... Uh, Right? Current floor on two. No! Did we go upstairs already? Did I completely forget about that? And I'm just being a complete idiot? For lack of a really good... No, we're on the first floor. What is... What the heck, man? Elevator's a little, uh... A little... Mistaken. Okay, yeah, he's here. Now, remember, we, we, were, we thought about maybe going down here, but we can't, because... What? Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Uh, so this is a hard barrier. This isn't just like some laser, some laser wire or um, you know some like laser projection that we can walk past and it's just a suggestion. No, it's an actual lock. Cryo sensor. Cryo sensor? No, it's something else. Cyano processor Mark III. So let's actually drop it. I don't need it. Um, and let's leave it. Ah, it had the same problem as we had with our Butcher Blade last time. <laughs> that one time where it just disappeared through the floor. Okay, it's no problem. No skin off my nose for now. Quickly look around. Okay, let's start with there and then we'll work our way towards that side. We are looking for the main switch. And this time, hopefully, we will not be chased off by overzealous uh, seekers. Last time... Well, last time we were failing a lot of hacking puzzles. <laughs> it wasn't really even that they were overzealous seekers. They were just seekers who were coming after us for being filthy, filthy hackers. And also probably for being bad hackers. Okay, so that's Lux. Lux, is there anything else here? I'm seeing a box. I'm seeing another box, but we don't need many hypos for now. I think we're okay. Is there anything in here? One. Two. Three, four. Okay. What is this? Light Reflector Plus Plus. Attachment to the standard flashlight frame in order to drastically widen the area illuminated by the beam by diffraction. Okay, and what do we have attached as compared to this? Attaches to the standard between far reaching and wide illumination has increased distance and dispersion. Well, let's at least see what this will look like. Yeah, we're going to go with this. <laughs> it's not as... I mean, it, it just seems brighter, right? And for our purposes, at least for now, it's useful. This is the Buildables vending machine. New. New, meaning it wasn't... Uh, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been here if we came here last time. Let's see what else we got. Oh, hey, there's an actual seeker this time. Not just one of those uh, observers. Good with that. Hey, buddy. Nope, nothing. Okay. Come on, we kind of need our big our big deal right now is we need a weapon uh, and armor, preferably. But the weapon may come first. That may be the primary goal right now. Sir, how are you? Yeah. Don't like it when you just walk standing there. The deep frame and the strange seekers seem connected. They both use the same encoded transmissions. Ah. So the deep frame she's mentioned before. And the strange seeker, I think she's mentioned once or twice. Or she's mentioned the, the strange seeker once. She's mentioned 12, who is a seeker, uh, at least once before as well. But, um... 
I don't think that these guys Please are present credentials. Yeah, I don't think that these guys are connected to the deep frame. Nominal. There is in the loading screen lore, there is reference to what's called Dark Seekers. But I have not seen any. It could be that it's a, a concept to be added later on, sort of down the road in development of the game, but we'll see. Hmm. But, and the fact that they're connected, so here's the thing. The fact that they're connected, the dark frame, or deep frame and, quote, strange seekers, suggests that there is more to the story about what the heck is happening with the deep frame that we may find out later on, which would be awesome. Let's open this door. This isn't the main switch. I think this is the battery. Right, and we need a maintenance key, whatever that is. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Oh, yeah. This flashlight is awesome. Uh, let's see, anything in here? Anything? Yes, in here. Seeker's over there, so we can hack this with no problem. One, two, three, four. Okay, some money. At this point, the cash registers only have money. I think when I first started playing this, it, they could have, like, pieces of armor inside, which one of you guys pointed out in the comments, saying, like, what the heck is going on? And it's good to see that they, they're, they're constantly tweaking the loot tables a little bit here and there. Water cup. Do we need a water cup? Well, we do need... Please present credentials. Yes, how are you, officer? I'm right here. Scan number. Yeah. Have a safe and productive day. I intend to... Okay, so we have one inventory space open for whatever. It's interesting, interesting, it's good to know that um, some items seem like we don't need uh, the full, in, you know, an empty space in the inventory anymore, like things that'll stack onto, uh, you know, non-inventory spaces. So like money, uh, I don't think we've seen Pamela points. We may have seen an upgrade point. I can't actually remember. I may have seen one on the way over here. In which case, just take my word for it. We don't need <laughs> an inventory space anymore. It used to be that you did. Remember, we used to be actually... Like, we'd have to offload something. We'd have to go ahead and then take the, the upgrade point. And then, only then, could we refill our inventory. It was a little cumbersome. It was a little annoying. Uh, now, I don't think it's as big a problem, or a problem at all for that matter. Okay, so let's get in there. This is a, this looks like a hypo, right? Right, Medi hypo. Okay, so let's get inside that kiosk, and then the last thing that we'll do after we find the main switch is go probably through here or through there. Ah, there's two of you. Uh, well, first things first, let's read this, read this, let's scan this, of course there's nothing there, oh, of course there's nothing there, and do you sell hypos if we need to? Ooh, we have 14, and we've got another hypo out there, okay, so we could probably take these guys, because I do need to go into, we do have a, yeah, we do have a shield, I do need to go into that kiosk, it would be very helpful to do so. You're empty. Hey, buddy. Don't... You don't know who you're messing with, man. That's right. Bam. Bam. Yeah. I don't understand. What did you think was gonna happen, dude? You're mine now. Hey man, you wanna, you wanna come with? There we go. Slowly staggering back. That's right. That's right. And that'll serve you to be. That'll teach you to be abnormal or infected with whatever it is that happened to you, man. Ow, you actually got a hit on me, too. How bad is that hit? Not bad at all. Just a scratch. Okay, let's go in here. Hopefully there isn't, like, another two in there. Nope, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's close this door. 
There we go. Nothing here, nothing here. Let's just go ahead and scan up the rest of these. Uh, what is this? Adrenaline hypo, right, right. So green is adrenaline, blue is like fatigue and health. It's like the omni hypo, whatever the heck it's called. I can't remember the exact name. And then red is obviously the medi hypo. Okay, fine. Let's see, let's see. Oh, hello. It looks like a garrison chest, which means that maybe it'll have something more than just power cells. It just has power cells. Great. Um. Actually, you know what? Let's put this back. We probably then. Yep. Yep. There we go. Uh. Do 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 do. Let's go ahead and do this. My first memory was of sound, not sight. A slow hum giving way to a thousand tiny sparks while predictably dancing and forming patterns in my mind. Right, all right, all right, all right. Money. So you'll notice that I'm not necessarily scanning or looting every single, like, health box or ammo box. And the reason for that is pretty straightforward. If we die and have to restart in one of the ARC areas, the ARC medical cryo area specifically, right, uh, I would like there to be some resources for me so that I wouldn't have to necessarily run to a, a vending machine. Because my understanding... See, I'm going to leave that there. I don't really need any of it right now. Um, my understanding, for example, is that when you die and respawn, because it is permadeath within a persistent world, you'd essentially come back into a place that, all, that had you know, all of this stuff already looted. Like, all these containers would already be looted. The ones that are empty would be empty. The ones that have stuff in them may have stuff in them. I actually don't know. But your gear would be gone, and you would essentially be stuck with nothing. So to the extent that you still would have needs... this shush. That's going to be addressed in tomorrow's patch, by the way. Just so we're clear. Um, or at least that that's my understanding, is that it will be. Uh, it may be that it's, bigger, it's a bigger problem than, you know, we, su we suspect. <laughs> in which case, all right, maybe it'll take a little longer to dress. But in any case, as I was saying, yeah, I want there to be something left so that I can, you know, eat, drink, and not desperately, desperately search for something. Beacon, utilizing a resilient built-in uh, built battery source emits a faint magnetic frequency marking the beacon's location. Um, let's do this. Let's do... How do we do this? How, what's the good way of doing this? This, like this. Visit the data pad for building procedures. No, I, I know how to build stuff. Okay. We're just gonna test it, yeah? Let's, um... Because this has supplies, right? So let's just put this right here. Here, maybe? Right here? There we go. Of course, we, need, we would need to power this right. It doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't actually... I thought it would be a built-in battery. What the heck, man? Alright, that's fine. Let's go over here. And, uh... I guess that one way to tell is if we load into the game next time and that's missing, then we know that buildables aren't fixed yet. <laughs> uh, that said, there's no guarantee that tomorrow's patch isn't going to wipe the, sur the save files again. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully it doesn't, because I'm actually pretty happy with where we are. Um, speaking of, we need food. Oh. There we go. Be nice to have a weapon. One. Oh. Ow. Yeah, that's right. What you get for trying to... Ow. 
That's right. That's right. Yeah, I actually may need a health hypo now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, what do we got? No, we don't need one, but we do need some food. So let's... Let's eat this muffin. Where are we for everything else? We can use with a little bit more food and maybe a drink. So let's use water. Let's use an apple. And we can move this here, and then we'll have a little bit more space for everything. Including whatever it is you're carrying. Which is money and another flask of water. Good, 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 good. Let's see what's down here real quick, and once we see what's down here, I think we'll call it, and next time will be a trip back to Arcadia. I mean, I'm sure that either this time or next time we're going to find this main power switch. And then all that's left is to go back to Arcadia and pick up where we left off. Is there anything here? Yeah, there's plenty of hackables here. One, two, or two, three, four. Money. Good. Okay, more money. Excellent. Let's see, let's see. Do we need it? No, let's see. Actually, I'm going to hold off on hacking that because, again, supplies. What's this? Integrated circuit generation one. Nope. The fact that it's a little gear suggests to me that um, there is a, like, there's or there is maybe an intent. Oh my god, hold on. <gasps> That's on me. That's on me. Security is going to be after me now. Whoops. Sorry, and that was a medium lock, too. I don't know how I failed that. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Oh. Nice. So that's where it is. That's the main power switch. Uh, you know, the fact that, hist that security is going to be against me is going to be a problem. <laughs> uh, because the lore during the load screen suggests that all of the Seekers share sort of an integrated memory, for lack of a better term, yeah? And if one of them is against me, they all are against me. And that's a problem because we're going to go to Arcadia and that thing always has Seekers in it. I asked about the deep frame again. I was told that I had been mistaken and that no such thing exists. Jacob seemed disappointed. Aha. Uh -huh. The mystery deepens. See, we, did, we got this one without any problem. Jeez. Um, the mystery deepens as to the, uh, the deep frame, huh? Now let's request a little bit more energy. Perfect. Uh, I don't want to request max, because eventually, and rather soon, we are going to leave this area. That's right. Um, still no weapon. That's a problem for me. For me. Now the one thing I have no, I have learned, because somebody pointed this out, I think on Steam, is that these will cool down. Huh? So you will actually be able to open them up eventually. They are not going to be locked out indefinite. Oh my God, really? In you're not going to be locked out indefinitely. Okay, now we have to be a little bit more careful about observers and seekers. Hopefully they will not try to arrest me. And if they do, I mean, who cares? We'll just be taken to wherever it is they take me if they arrest me. But, uh, yeah, we just have to be careful. Because at some point, they, if they do that, they'll throw out that, like, orange circle around me. And that's not super great. Ah, yes. There we go. What's up, man? Okay, this is different. This is a different place. Do we still have all our gear, though? We do. Okay, so we're at somewhere. I don't know where this is. I guess we'll be able to find out. Let's call it here, though, before we uh, move on. And we'll go from there next time. We'll go from here next time, rather. If you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let me know that I'm doing something right. 
Let's know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts on this game, especially now that we have a new save file, you think we should do something in particular, by all means, leave a comment. If you have advice, as you guys have been giving me, uh, by all means, give it. You guys have been awesome about that stuff, so keep it up. Everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better